Tonight's stadium lights and scoreboard are powered by Edmonds Electric. Now that's the power of Edmonds. Roofing is a full line commercial residential roofing contract. So, whether you're a bulldog, a wolf, or a husky, we've got the roof for you. your happy place is something special. TTCU Federal Credit Union wants to help. Now you can earn a $350 bonus when you open a new checking account with direct deposit. So wherever your happy place finds you, TTCU will meet you there.
Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Santa Fe High School. your happy place is something special. TPCU Federal Credit Union wants to help. Now you can earn a $350 bonus when you open a new checking account with direct deposit. So wherever your happy place finds you, TPCU will meet you there. Stadium lights and scoreboard are powered by Edmund Electric. Now that's the power of Edmund. Peter's roofing is a full line. 
commercial or residential roofing contractor. So whether you're a bulldog, a wolf, or a husky, we've got the roof for you.
ladies and gentlemen, if we could direct your attention to the middle of the field, it is time to welcome Santa Fe Cheer and Palm Little Wolves. Ladies and gentlemen, one more round of applause for the Little Wolves. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Santa Fe High School. Tonight features the Tulsa Union Red Hawks versus York. Santa Fe Wolves. At this time, if you would please rise, gentlemen, and remove your hats for the playing of our national anthem tonight performed by the Santa Fe High School Marching Band. The 6A1-2 District Championship could be on the line tonight here at Edmond Santa Fe Stadium in Edmond, Oklahoma. As Tulsa Union High School's Red Hawks, number two ranked in 6A1, come west to the Oklahoma City area to meet the fourth ranked Edmond Santa Fe Wolves. And hello again, everyone. I'm Chris Lincoln doing your play-by-play -play tonight for Rick Corey. The voice of the Red Hawks is back in Tulsa, the University of Tulsa, playing a Thursday night American Athletic Conference game against the Rice Owls. We'll be telling our usual Union Sports Network crew, Coach Tom Stockton, providing the analysis. Southern reporter Jeff Johns here in the booth, including the stats and tech support, Richard Johns, and our producer director, Andy Rowan. Coach Stockton, Union 6-1, Evan Santa Fe 5-1. Both teams, though, unbeaten, perfect 4-0 records in district play. 
both with four game win streaks. This Edmond Santa Fe team is maybe the biggest turnaround story this season in Oklahoma high school football. 6A1. What, is, what, a turn, what a turnaround this has been. Yeah, their head coach, Kyle White, is in his ninth season, and his staff and players have bounced back from a 1 and 9 season last year, and it began with the big season opening upset at Jinx. When they beat the Trojans 27 26, and let's not forget, Jinx is the only team to beat Union this season when they won 31 24 back in September. And, of course, for the second straight game, Union will be without one of the state, in fact, one of the nation's top-rated quarterbacks. Their junior quarterback, Shaker Isaac, hurt his non-throwing arm on October 6th, late in the 65-0 homecoming win over Norman High. Did notice a Shaker down on the field in pregame, not doing any throwing or anything, but he was not street closed. But good news is he did not have a sling on his arm. In four games this season, Isaac threw for 1,746 yards. He completed 80% of his passes, quarterback rating of 142. He's accounted for 25 touchdowns, 21 passing, over 250 yards per game. And Shaker's rated one of the nation's top junior quarterbacks, already had a number of scholarship offers from major D1 schools, including Oklahoma State and Missouri. Now, Coach Stockton, the Red Hawks are led by a ninth grader, a true freshman, number 10, Kaysen Delgado, 6 foot, 160. He actually moved into the Union School District from Edmond. How do you evaluate this true freshman in his opening appearance last week? Well, I thought he did a great job. I mean, it's tough enough when you got to go in when you haven't been in the starting, but now you got to replace somebody like that and at a big 6A school. And he became the first freshman to start at quarterback for Union High School since Kyle Irvin in 1979 for an 8-2 and two Union team coached by J.W. Emerson. And he led us to a 46-7 win last week against Mustang. He hit 6 of 11 passes for 92 yards and one touchdown. And... In his 17 seasons, Coach Frederick has only started two freshmen before Delgado, linebacker, uh, excuse me, linebacker Blaze Walser, and running back Terrell Buchanan. Well, tonight, Coach, we may not see as much passing as we usually do with Union, but we will have two outstanding running backs in the game. And Santa Fe has the superstar. He is a junior, 5'9", 175-pound, number six, Demarius Robinson. Remember that name? You'll hear it a lot tonight, Demarius Robinson. He already has through six games for the uh, home team, Santa Fe Wolves, 1,540 yards rushing on 159 carries. He's already scored 24 touchdowns this season. Captain's being at the center of the field for the coin toss. Union has their 200-pound junior running back, Jordan Schilling, 956 yards rushing and receiving yards. He has 15 total touchdowns. We're having the coin toss in the middle of the field right now. Union, by the way, in their road white uniform, silver pants, silver hobbles with the U on the side. And happy to tell you, black numbers on the nice white jerseys. Easy to see. The Santa Fe Wolves in their uh, home all-green uniforms. Our referee tonight will be calling the game for us down there and taking the coin toss is Mike Tome. Umpire is Bart Jackson. Tim Whaley, the head linesman. Back judge is Caleb Wortham. And Clay Nichols is the line judge. My meteorologist, Richard Johnson, will have the weather for me in a moment here, too. They're discussing. Captain's all meeting out there. Mike Tone ready to toss the coin. There it is. And let's Looks see. Like Santa Fe won it. All right. The way they're talking to him. They're moving the captains around now. So Santa Fe is going to defer to the second half. Which means they'll be kicking. Union will be receiving off to our left here as you look in. And getting ready, ready for some football here. Well, that was good down to the field, though, and our man Jeff Johns in a pregame talk. He had a chance to visit with the head coach in his 17th season with eight state championships, Kirk Frederick. Well, Coach Edmund Santa Fe is a team that's been playing really well this year. Union's a team that's been playing really well this year, too. What do you like going into this week? Well, it's, you know, it's a big time game in our district. I mean, that's what we do it for. I told the kids earlier is that you know, everybody enjoys, you know, playing football, but these, these kind of games are the special ones and the ones that are tough games that, that uh, you get tested as a player and as a coach. And uh, we'll be tested tonight. It's a really good team. Edmond Santa Fe's got a really good ground game. What defensively do you have to do to get ready for that? Well, we tried to figure out how to get 14 guys on the field. Uh, 
you know, it's one of those things where you can fill every gap and the running back's still probably going to find a spot. So it's uh, definitely going to have to tackle well and, uh, you know, hopefully slow him down. He had 300 yards last week. So uh, if we can get him to 299, maybe we've done our job. The next thing I was going to ask you is offensively, it seems like the team responded really well to Kaysen going in. What kind of continuity has he been able to build this last week? Yeah, I think it's been, I think it was good. It was great, you know, um, kind of galvanized our team and some guys playing different spots and receivers understanding roles, changing some maybe, and, and where can they, how can they fit in. And, and Kaysen did a good job too. And I don't want to discredit him. He did a great job with it and, um, you know, was excited about uh about the way he practiced this week, too. Well, Coach, I appreciate the time. Obviously, we're looking for a good win tonight. Good luck to you. Thank you very much. All right, thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Coach Fred. And uh, Union is already on the field. And here come the uh, Santa Fe Wolves onto the field in their green uniforms. There's a pink out tonight, they're saying over here, honoring breast cancer survivors. Let's hop the weather. Richard? So, <clears throat> so right now, we got a really nice night, clear weather. It is 74 degrees currently. The wind is west to southwest at three miles per hour. And wow. will probably be in the mid to upper 60s by the end of game time, end of the game. Also, I was going to let you know, uh, have a note from Jeff, that Gino Boyd, who had the injury last week, is playing tonight. Excellent. And Ian Rowe is healthy and will be playing tonight as well. Very good. Now let's get Shaker back in uniform here and ready to go. Hopefully by next week when we come back to the side of the state to take on Edmund Memorial. Well, Coach Union leads this series. Edmund Santa Fe 5-1, including last year's 62-21 home win over the Wolves. Santa Fe's only win in the series, a 21-14 upset in the 2020 State 6-A1 semifinals. After tonight's Union has just two regular season games left. Boy, is that possible, Coach? It doesn't seem like it is. Flew by. Next Friday night, October 27th, we're back here in Edmund to play Memorial. Then home for the following Thursday, November the 2nd, to host Edmund North on Senior Night. It's illustrious football history. Since 1959, listen to this, Tulsa Union High School has won 32 district titles, made to the state semifinals 29 times, 18 state championship appearances, and has won the state gold ball championship trophy nine times, latest being 2016. Getting ready some football here again. Uh, Edmund Santa Fe won the toss. They declined to the second half, and so Union will take the football first. Bring the offense on the field, and it goes led by the freshman, six foot, 160 pound, number 10, Kaysen Delgado. On the back of the weather, Jordan Schilling, number 24, 5'9, 200 pound junior, at 941 yards of total offense this season. He's had three games over 100 rushing this season. The outside the receivers, Boston Carrasco, number 6, 5'11, 170 junior. The super receiver, six foot, 175 pound senior, Geno Boyd. Averaging 16.2 yards a catch with five touchdowns. Miles Davis, number 87, is the tight end across the front. Jesse Jones, 6'3", 290, junior. Dominic Alvarez, 6'1", 240, senior. The center, back to st in his starting role, Harlem Henry, 6'3", 305 pounds, senior. The right guard is Kenneth Limke, 6'4", 265, senior. And the right tackle, 6'5", 280, junior, Chris Menderson. Brandon McQueen, one of the wide receivers as well for the Red Hawks, and we're getting ready for football now. Beautiful night for high school football in the state of Oklahoma and a lot of Thursday night games because of the fall break. The Union, one of those schools on the fall break. So there's the whistle, and here we go, and this game is underway. Picked up the seven-yard line for Union. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. He has a break. There he goes. He's going to go all the way, returning the touchdown all the way from the seven-yard line. How about that? Boston Carrasco. 5'11", 175, 70-pound junior. Returns the opening kickoff. Anybody see any flags? I don't think so. No. Nope. No flags. Touchdown, any. Union. Well, that took all of, what, 11 seconds, Coach? Yeah, you can't start it any better than that. <laughs> How about that? Officially, what, 80? So it was 90, uh, picked up the 93-yard touchdown return on the kickoff. Emerson Kiker. The soccer kicker is in there to kick. Miles Davis will hold. Snap is down. Kick is up. And the kick is good. And just that quick. Tulsa Union on Boston Carrasco's 
three-yard touchdown kickoff return puts Union up 7-0 with 11.49 to play in this first quarter. Coach, amazingly, as many points as Edmund Santa Fe has scored, they've given up a lot of points, though, too. Yes, they have, and that's, that's a, I don't know if that's a scary part, whatever, but when I was talking to people this week, I, you, you start mentioning how much they've scored, and it, I think it puts a lot of pressure back on our defense to make sure they don't score that much because we're not quite the offense we, we were without Shaker, but uh, we'll be fine. Delgado will be fine. We met with Coach Fred on uh, Wednesday morning, and he talked about uh, the, this running back, their superstar, Demarius Robinson, the junior, who's uh, averaging 251.5 yards a game. Uh, he said is the best running back they've faced this season, and so far this Santa Fe offensive line is the best offensive line they've faced too, Coach. Yeah, he, he made it very clear about that running back and the, the offensive line and that, uh, you know, like I said in the pregame, they beat Jinx and scored quite a few points, and Jinx's defense is usually pretty darn good. Ready for the kickoff. Deep and into the end zone, it'll be a touchback. So a good soccer style kicker booms that one into the end zone again. That is uh, Emerson Kiker, number 84. And it'll be first and 10. Woes from their own 20 yard line already trailing 7 0. After that, uh, Boston Carrasco 93 yard kickoff return for a touchdown. Extra point was good. 7 0. Good way to start for Tulsa oh. Union. Wow. Awesome. Daniel Newton is the quarterback, number four. He is 5'11", 180 pound junior. Again, the guy you'll be hearing a lot of, Demarius Robinson, the halfback in the backfield, number six, 5'9", 175. He's a violent runner and really fast. Makes one quick move and off he goes. Turn, handoff, there to Robinson right there through the middle and gets off the right side for about, oh, three or four yards there. Nice gang tackling there by the guys in the silver helmets. It looks like it was Isaiah Forbes that made that tackle. I believe that's right. Yeah, number. No, it was Trey Barnes. I'm sorry. It was Trey. No, Lane Wood. My bad. Again, Demarius Johnson to get off the right side. Gets still about four or five yards. Going to be close to a first down. Be third down and short. Third and about two. Good blocking over there from. Brandon Prather and Jalen Covington, their front line for the uh, Wolves, 305, 180, 280, 250, 260. Good size offensive line. Newton, the quarterback. Robinson behind him. Now he comes back up under center, now steps back again in the shotgun. Third and one. Snap, handoff, Robinson, hit in the backfield. Oh. Spins away from one, spins away from another. Has the first down, diving across the 30-yard line. Oh, they had him in the backfield for a loss, Coach. And the hard-running Robinson just spun away from him and got the first down. He was running out of bounds by Devin Jordan and Isaac, Isaac Covington. Isaac, excuse me, Isaac Covington. And you're right. It was almost, the bat had him for about a two-yard loss, and he got out of it. That shows just how good he is. First and ten for the Wolves at their own 31-yard line. Hand up again, he goes to Robinson. He's smothered in the backfield this time. Going to lose a couple yards on the play. Loss of two. And again, it looked like it was Lane Wood yeah. ended up making the tackle. And I think that uh, Number zero. Isaiah Forbes hit him also. Second and 12. Noon to throw. Throws out to the left flat there, taken at the 25-yard line, across the 30-yard line. Ashton Fowler and Ashton Cunningham, excuse me, yeah, Ashton Fowler and Ashton Cunningham in on the that tackles. Demarius Robinson, the receiver there. Only got about, uh, he picked up the lost yard and got another one, so it's going to be third down, and let's call it third and about nine. Wolves on third down, need to get to their 41 for a first down. Robinson's out of the game right now. Hand off to the second back in. He's going to be knocked down, knocked down the 35 yard line. They'll have to punt now. Did not get near the first down. It'll be fourth down. And Evan Santa Fe 
on their first offensive series. Goes three and, well, gets one first down and goes three and out on the second possession there. Now have to punt of the way here. And once again, it was Lane Wood initially on the tackle. Bergen Kaiser, number one, will be punting. Deep is Gino Boyd. Remember, he was injured the end of last week, but out on the field, ready to go. Boy, nice high kick. Gino Boyd takes it up to 26, the 30, breaks the tackle 35, 40, breaks another tackle, drives across the 43 yard line. Nice return. Check it. That's not Boyd. That's number 21, Isaac Covington. Covington, not 12, 21. That looked like Lamel Slaughter who made the play, or he'd had an even bigger return. Jeff, what's the sideline down there like now? Mentality that this Union team has when they take the field this week was no different. However, after that return for a touchdown, there is a high level of energy on the sidelines right now. This Red Hawk team came ready to play. And leading 7 0 here in the first quarter, just underway, really. Handoff goes off to number five. That is a Spring Eagle Rice there, and he's going to be pulled down. They're going to lose yardage John the play. Back at the 36 yard line. Loss of six. Second and 16. Delgado takes the snap. Goes down the right side. The man wide open as Gino Boyd has it at the 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Union. And I don't see any How flags. How about that? Woo. 64 yards from Cason Delgado to the top receiver, Gino Boyd. And just that quickly, Union strikes again and leads 13 to nothing here. So now they're talking on the field. I don't see a flag. Oh, gosh. oh I do. An eligible receiver downfield. Wipe it off. And we'll come back, start it again. Oh, boy. There is a huge penalty. Cost him a 64-yard touchdown from Casey Delgado. Oh my gosh, how open was Geno Boyd, Coach? Oh, <coughs> wow. very, very much open. They'll mark the football back to the Red Hawks' 31-yard line. We'll replay the down. It was second and 16. Now it's like second in Tulsa. Wow. <coughs> second and 26. Delgado hands the shilling off the left side. 30 and pulled out the 34-yard line. Got three on the play. Look like number 33, William Shoemaker. Was the one making the play. <coughs> Delgado takes the snap. Goes out to Schilling on the right side. 30, breaks the tackle. 35, falls forward to the 35 yard line. Just a yard gain there. So it'll be third and forever. No, fourth down. Excuse me, fourth down. And Union's going to have to punt. That looked like it was Briar Harrison that made the stop. Boy, that's sort of a 64-yard touchdown and a 14 nothing possible lead. An ineligible receiver downfield cost the Red Hawks, and they had to punt after four downs here. So Back to punt, Miles Davis. Short, bounces the 30, and rolls dead around the 24-yard line. In Edmond territory. So it'll be first and 10 for the Wolves from their own 25 yard line. Nice 41 yard punt, by the way, from Wood. Yeah, no return. That's my favorite kind of punt. Exactly. So Edmund got one first down in their opening drive, then with three and out on the second possession there. On that drive now for they have the ball for the second time tonight. They'll start from their own 24 yard line.
Again, Newton in the backfield. Robinson behind him, takes a snap. Hands Robinson, hit in the backfield, and down he goes to the 21-yard line. Oh, big tackle there. Loss of four on the play. Great job defensively. Look like Isaac Covington. Slashing in at number 21, Isaac Covington. Newton kept it on that. Newton back in the shotgun. Robinson off to his left side. Takes the hand up to him. Newton throws down in the middle. Has the man open. He's got the 35-yard line. First down. Caught there by number 14. There's sophomore Malik Davis. 12-yard reception on first down for Edmund Santa Fe. Tackled by J.T. Frederick. Number two back there, the coach's son. Snap. Hands off. It goes to Robinson. Done a good job bottling him up so far tonight. Did not get back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. No, no gain. Second down and 10. I think that was Isaiah Forbes making the play. Newton on a second and 10. Fakes the handoff. Now being chased to the backfield. Gets away from two Red Hawks. Scrambles to the 35, 40. This guy has some speed too. Run out of bounds at the 41 yard line. Got about three or so on the play. Be third down and seven now. Yeah, Coach Warren, is this uh, quarterback has some quick too, doesn't yes, he? Yes, he is. He's just, and Coach Frederick made a point of that. that the other day that he also was fast. I think this is big right here, this third and eight or seven and a half, whatever it is. They need to punt it to us. Newton fakes to Robinson, looks to throw, pressure, down he goes. No chance. The phone picked up, though. I think Robinson has it. Yeah, he picked it up. He goes down the field now. And finally tackled inside the Red Hawks 30-yard line. Quarterback Newton fumbled the football. The running back Robinson picked it up. Takes it all the way down inside the 30-yard line. 34-yard run on a fumble and run after that. Ashton Cunningham. How about that for a break? Coach Mike With a touchdown getting... saving tackle. The officials are talking about it. Is there a flag somewhere? I don't know, but they look like they're coming back. Yep, they are. And I, uh, might have been. A, I don't know. I thought it might be a dead ball. I haven't seen any flags tonight. That's just crazy. The officials are still uh, talking about it on the field here, as you see. Flag on the 40-yard line. Down low here, okay, and that's where it is. And call against Edmund Santa Fe. That helps out some. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. So the Wolves now have a big play taken away. They'll step it off here. Another five. There was a flag on the play. The legal procedure called against Santa Fe. It is still third down. Yeah, Newton throws out to the left flat. Caught at the 40. Knocked down at the 43 yard line. Again, it was Malik Davis. Their sophomore split in. It'll be fourth down for. The Wolves, after an eight-yard gain, and they'll have to punt it away again to Tulsa Union here. It's Ashton Fowler on the tackle. So here comes the punt team on the field for Santa Fe. Number one, uh, Bergen Kaiser is the punter. Isaac Covington will be punting, but first there's an illegal procedure penalty against the Wolves of back him another five yards. Covington, number 21, moves up to the 30-yard line. Their punter goes back to their 25. 5 5 opening quarter. And Tulsa Union is going on that uh, incredible... Opening kickoff, touchdown return of 93 yards by Boston Carrasco to lead in this game. Caught there by Covington inside the 20-yard line. As one man missed with a whistle, and they call a fair catch. They said he called for the fair catch. That stops the play right there at the Union 16-yard line. 
44 yards on the punt for Edmund Santa Fe. And Tufts Union will take over at their own 16-yard line. Boy, it was a great-looking touchdown pass from Casey Delgado to Gino Boyd on the yeah. last series, Coach. Now let's see if we can get another one. Yeah, man. Run that play again, Coach <laughs> Maddox. Delgado turns hands off to Jordan Schilling. Schilling breaks one tackle, sweeps outside to the right, across the 25-yard line, or close to it. Knocked out of bounds there. Number By Pick number 30, eight. Tommy Hand. Pick of eight. It'll be a second out and two now for Tulsa Union. Delgado's a junior Boyd. Out to the left side. Along with Boston Carrasco, one receiver to the right. Shotgun, fakes the shilling, passes out the flat, hits his man, trying to break a tackle, but pulled down from a just short yeah, game there, like but did get the first down. Yeah, first down. Boston Carrasco with a quick pass there. He's still got a nice quick release there, coach. Good looking spiral out there. And it looked like Franklin Ch Sherrard was the one that got him stopped. But now before they move to change, they get another first down. First and 10 for Union at the 27-yard line of the Wolves. Two receivers out to the right side now, one to the left. Should the backfield with Delgado waiting for the direct snap. Takes it, pitches back there. Comes the wide out to the 25-yard line and pull down there. That was Gam Jones, number 15, the 5'6", 160-pound senior. He was wrapped up quickly. Good defensive reaction there. Looked like it was Ronell Slaughter, number 11, that made the play. Loss on the play. Takes it back to the 26-yard line. We second down at 11. Again, one receiver left, two to the right side. Fisher was trying to get something sorted out here with the clock, I believe, 310. And running here in the first quarter. Delgado takes the direct snap, fakes the shilling, looks, throws down the right side. Gino Boyd trying forward is also in back there was Carrasco, an incomplete Carrasco. Had an opportunity to catch it, but good job back there defensively for the Wolves as well. Good coverage downfield. Yeah, Dante Austin was the one that was in the coverage the best. Incomplete pass, makes it third down and 11 now. Union needs to get to their own 37-yard uh, line to keep this drive going. Two receivers left, two to the right. By himself in the backfield, the freshman, Cason Delgado. Now brings Jordan Schilling into the backfield with him and hands to Schilling. Up the middle he goes, he's not going to get anywhere. Wrapped up, pulled down before he got to the 30-yard line. Only got three, going to be fourth down, and here comes the punt team on for Union. That looked like Jablin Battle, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, that made the play, number 85. So punt time again for Tulsa Union. We had more punts in this game than I can remember all season so far. Miles Davis is the punter. Gets it away. Short kick. Now it bounces back towards Union's way. Now they finally kill it down there around the 49-yard uh, line in Union territory. So it'll be... Edmund Santa Fe with good field position. Just a 23-yard punt that time. Wow. And they took that big roll back up the field. So the Wolves have great field position inside Union territory, just across the 50. First and 10, Edmund Santa Fe at the 49. They trail Tulsa Union 7 to nothing, only because that opening 93-yard kickoff return for touchdown by Boston Carrasco. That's been the only offense so far tonight. Union had one other touchdown, a long pass play, called back. Because of the penalty. And then the biggest play that uh, Evan Santa Fe had was also a callback by a penalty when they moved inside the Union 25 yard line. From the 49 of Union, handoff up the middle and push down, pull back there, and no gain on the play. Maybe a loss a yard on the play. Union so far, 10 total yards of offense. Number 21, 
Isaiah Covington on the tackle number, it looked like a number 33 or number 11, I think it was number 11 there. Ashton Fowler was also initially in on it. Didn't ready for the snap, takes it, looks to throw, now he's going to run, has room, 50, 45, 40, first down, out of bounds at the 37-yard line. Well, he does have some quick. 5'11", 180-pound junior, Daniel Newton. 13-yard scamper on that. He's a much, much better runner than throw a throw. He's only 48% completion coach, so he's not really that big of a threat throwing the football, but boy, he can run. First and 10, Evan Santa Fe at the Union now. 37-yard line, handoff to goes outside. Robinson makes one guy miss and falls across the 35 and tied to the 33-yard line to the 40-yard gain of the play, second down. Yeah, that was Trey Barnes and also Isaiah Covington on the stop. And they're probably, well, you probably know better than me, but they're probably in four-down territory. Second and six for Newton. Hand to Robinson. Robinson spins away inside the 30-yard line. It'll be third down and short now for the Wolves. Three-yard gain of the play. He does. He is a violent runner, isn't he, Coach? Yes, he is. Isaiah Covington. Stuff. Yeah. I think number 21, Isaiah Covington on the tackle. So third down from the Union 30. They need to reach the 27 for first down here. Robinson. The backfield behind the quarterback, Daniel Newton. Now Robinson goes in motion. Newton keeps it himself. He runs up the middle. Going to be close to a first down. Now he has it. Spins across the 25. First down for Edmund Santa Fe with a five-yard gain. Again, initially stopped right after a yard gain, but then a nice yeah. spin move and got over the yard to gain and inside the Red Hawks' 25-yard line. Yeah, Zeg Ford made, made the first hit on him, but he spun away and fell for a first down. Newton looking to throw. Can't find anybody open. Starts to run. Now throws it uh, away. And a flag, some flags on the play. Holding, whatever they call, against Edmund Santa Fe. And there's the call. Holding against Edmund Santa Fe. Mark this back and place the ball down at the 35 yard line where it now is first and uh, 20. Noon to quarterback. Robinson. Now, right, keeps it. Quarterback keeper. Nice job defensively there. Got only a yard on the play. Good, good coverage there for Union up the middle there. That's Lane, Lane Wood. Wood. Number zero. Yeah, Lane Wood made the play. Coming down to the final seconds of the first quarter, and that is the end of our first quarter. Not much of an offensive show so far. In fact, the only score in the opening play of the game, the 93-yard kickoff return by Boston Carrasco. That gives Union a lead of 7-0 into the first quarter. Right back to Edmund Santa Fe. And we take this break on the...
Evan Santa Fe, 66 total yards, 24 passing, and 42 rushing. Their star running back, Robinson, had eight carries, just 15 yards, though. Now in the, on the loose there, down the sideline, and pushed out of bounds. Robinson got away from a couple guys there. Pushed out of bounds. He's pushed out by number five, Gavion Jordan. 17-yard gain on the play will set up a third and short now. Third and three. Edmund Santa Fe threatening. Number five, Devon Jordan on the fourth out of bounds. At the Union 18-yard line. Third down. Newton. Robinson cut down right in the middle of the line there. Nicely the done there. Number 21. Oh, Isaac Covington. Isaac Covington making the play. Number 21. Fourth down and four now. See how they want to play this. They're bringing this field goal kicker out. Kale Purvis is their field goal kicker. They rocket at the 27, 37-yard field goal attempt. Kick is up, and the kick is good. 37-yard field goal by Kale Purvis. Gets Edmund Santa Fe on the board. With 11-17 left in this opening half, is now Union 7 and Edmund Santa Fe 3. Well, Coach, what do we got to do to get this offense going here? I don't know, but I'm, I'm, I got to be honest with you. After visiting with Coach Fred the other day and how good their offense was and all this and that, I'm a little surprised it's 7-3 to three at the end of the first quarter. Again, obviously... You're going to miss someone like Shaker Reisig, the uh, outstanding junior quarterback. And, uh, we did report that he's on the field in street clothes earlier before the game. No sling, though, on his arm, which is a good sign. And uh, Coach holding out hope that he may still return before the end of this season. That scoring drive for the Wolves was nine uh, plays, 29 yards. Took two minutes, 59 seconds. Ended up with a Kale Purvis 37-yard field goal. Seven to three right now in the first half. Union has two deep and kickoff return. Kel Purvis kicks off into the end zone. It'll be a touchback, and Union will take the football over. First and 10 from its 20-yard line. Well, I think it's important right here that we get a move. We get some, get some, thing, get some yardage, and at least drive it down the field, but it'd be awesome right now if we got a touchdown to answer their field goal. Yeah, I've always been impressed, Coach, with the in-game adjustments that Coach Kirk Frederick and his staff make here. Let's see what they've learned from that first quarter with only 10 yards of total offense. Delgado hands to Schilling. Schilling goes over the left side guard and breaks over the middle there, get only three yards on the play. Number 24, Jordan Schilling. That's uh, Tuss Union's big running threat, 941 yards of total offense so far this season. Averaging 134.4 yards on the ground per game. He's had three games over 100 this year. Tackle was made by number 33, Will Shoemaker. He's made quite a few tackles already this evening. Second down and seven now for the Red Hawks. Two receivers left, two to the right. Now bringing him back to the formation. That's Schilling now comes to the other side of uh, Delgado. Takes the snap. Again, hands to Schilling. Bounces outside. Cuts back inside. Has some hold to 30, 35-yard line. First down for Tulsa Union. Best run so far of the night by junior Jordan Schilling. Has nine rushing touchdowns on the season. Pick up a 12 yards on that. More than they had in the entire first quarter. First and 10, Union at the own 35 yard line. Tackle by number 11, Ronnell Slaughter. Two receivers left, bring Brendan McQueen in now. And again, the handoff goes to Schilling. It avoids one man in the back, he was only going to get a yard or two on the play. Number 24, Schilling on the 
Jeff, what's going on with the offense down there? Well, guys, there's been a lot of optimism so far about the Union offense. They've made some big plays. They've made some things happen. The penalties have been the large downfall. We'll see if they can correct them on this drive right here. After no gain on that play, it's now second and 10. You need to own 35-yard line. Delgado fakes, looks, throws deep. And bringing the pass down, caught complete, and it is going to be a first down. Nicely done by Brendan McQueen, number two, the 6'4", 180-pound senior. Makes the catch. Nice deep ball again by Cason Delgado. Jeff was watching him during warm-ups and was impressed by how well he threw the deep ball, this young freshman. 39 yards on the pass play. There we got the offense going now. Delgado to Brendan McQueen, number two. He was covered on that play, and then ended up being tackled by number 18, Briar Harrison, which switches the field, just kind of flipped it. We're certainly in four-down territory, I believe. And at the 27-yard line of Edmund Santa Fe. Man in motion. Fake the handoff to him. Delgado looks, throws to the right side, and is caught inside the 10-yard line. They're battling for it now. It is a catch, yep. Here's number 19, Dylan Baldridge, the 6'2", 180-pound senior. Number 19 with a nice catch of 18 yards on the reception. Had to wait for a moment to see if the defender was all over him, too. But it was possession union and a first and goal now for the Red Hawks at the Santa Fe 9-yard line. And now Shilling caught in the backfield. Down he goes back with his own 16-yard line. Oh, my gosh. Had no chance there. Five-yard loss on the play. Mark at the 15-yard line. Be second down and goal from the 15. Miles Davis, the tight end, flexes out to the right side. Three receivers out to the left side. Looking to pass under pressure. Throws the ball. It's going to be incomplete. Intended for Geno Boyd. Hopefully out there. Just barely got out of his hands with a big rush there. Had no chance. Incomplete pass, they call it, fortunately. On that, that was really a smart play by Boyd. You could see he started to catch it, realize he's behind the line of scrimmage, drop it, and get the uh, incomplete yeah. pass. Well done. It'll be third down, goal to goal from the Edmund Santa Fe 15 yard line and see which Coach Fred and the staff come up with here. Again, three receivers go left. Now Carrasco goes out to the right side. Only Delgado in the backfield takes a snap, looks for Carrasco in the end zone, throws. He goes up for it and it is knocked nope. away. And a pass nope interference. Flag. flag on the play. Carrasco went up for it. A battle for it in the right corner of the end zone. Have a man down for Eben Santa Fe. And should be pass interference. Let's see if they'll make it official here. Mike Toon, our referee. I think that's Briar Harrison, number 18, that's, that was covering and might have gotten hurt on that play. He's still down in the corner of the end zone. He officially saw a signal of the official's timeout for the injured player. Here's the call. Defensive interference. Looks like a uh, ankle to lower leg injury to the young man from Santa Fe, number 18, Briar Harrison. So he got tangled up out there and uh, with Carrasco in the corner of the end zone. The ball is going to be marked down now after the mark off of the penalty, the eight yard line. There's no automatic first down though with pass interference nope. in high school, so that means it's still going to be third down now, but third and seven. Wait, get some. Clarification on this. One down bug has third down. The scoreboard has first down. First down. I like the scoreboard one. They're still talking it over here. And we have a timeout on the field here as the officials discuss things. And of course, work on the injured player over there. 
number 18, Briar Harrison, being helped out the back of the end zone and needs a couple people to help him walk off there. The man's going to be okay here. We are back to the action here. It'll be uh, Tulsa Union with eight minutes and 12 seconds left in the first half. Threatening here, they lead seven to three. Had their best drive so far of the night. The ball is eight yard line. Ball's on the 23. The penalty should be a first down. They're still showing third down on the now, down Now they're runner. showing it on the clock also. The coach is wondering what's going on too. So it's third and goal from the seven. Yeah, it was first and goal from the 10. So lost yardage and then uh, had the breakup in the end zone. So it'll be, yeah, I guess they'll make it third down. Okay, here we go. Third down and goal. Toss you into the seven yard line. Delgado with Carrasco in the backfield now with him. Shelling up there too. Excuse me, that is Miles Davis in the backfield, the tight end. See, they're putting the uh, injured player for Edmund Santa Fe. Into the cart there. Official holding up action here to take care of that young man. Okay, marks the ball ready for play. Here we go. Third down and goal from the seven. Delgado, man in motion. Takes the handoff, throws over the middle, and oh, dropped. Oh, my gosh, right at the end zone. Incomplete pass in and out of the hands of Gino Boyd, number 12, the most reliable receiver they have. There's a nice throw there by Delgado, coach. Hit him right in the numbers there. Just couldn't hold it right at the goal line. Incomplete pass. So now it's field goal time for Union. They bring out their field goal kicker. He was covered by number five, Tad Avery. Emerson Kiker. From 26 yards away, Kiker. The kick is up. Kick is good. Nice job, by the way, of Miles Davis, the holder there. The snap came back, and he kind of juggled it. We got it down nicely, and uh, Emerson Kiker kicked it through. So Union adds to their lead. It's now 10-3. Union with 8.04 to play in the first half. Well, it's a shame, though, to, again, have a penalty down there and a loss of yard and stuff. It cost him a chance at a touchdown, but these came out with some points. Emerson Kiker's 26-yard field goal has made it Union 10 and Edmund Santa Fe 3 to this point. Emerson Kiker, 84 for Union to kick off. Edmund Santa Fe has three players deep inside the 10-yard line. Wait for the official signal. Here we go. Wind not a factor at all here tonight. It's a three-mile-an-hour breeze. And he goes into the end zone. No return. There'll be a touchback, and Edmund Santa Fe will start at its own 20-yard line. First and 10. Offensive line, Coach Frederick mentioned, one of the best they'll face. Led by the left tackle, Josh Ayoso, 6'5", 305 senior. He's already an Oklahoma football commit, a Sooner signee already. They also have another, uh, the tight end, Bergen Kider, number one, 6'4", 232, is a OU preferred walk-on. So 
some of the talent the yeah. Wolves have, you can see, obviously, pretty high when they were recruited by the Sooners. Here come the Wolves, led by their junior quarterback, Daniel Newton. You've seen him, a lot of speed there running. By himself in the backfield. Two receivers left, two to the right. Now a man in motion, that is Robinson. The fakes to Robinson, keeps it himself. Across the 20, cut down to the 23-yard line. Only got a couple on the play there. Tackle there by number 21, Isaac Covington. Second down and eight. It's a gain of two. That up the middle of goals. Keeps it. Across the 25-yard line. Newton. We gain a three, so it'll come to third and five now. Isaac Covington, 21 on the tackle. Newton puts Robinson off to his left. Two receivers right, one to the left side. Flags in the air, and they'll stop the play right now. Legal procedure, movement against uh, the Wolves. That'll cost him five yards here, so they can now third and ten as they'll mark it back to the 20-yard line. Union trying to get a four and out here. Coach help yeah. get this offense going with 7-10 left to play in the first half. And if they have to punt up from here, it'll be pretty good field position. Richard points out that's the third procedure penalty against Edmund Santa Fe so far tonight. Newton again in motion. Here's the pitch to Robinson. Robinson cuts across the 20 to the 25-yard line, and he was stacked up there. Schwell short of the first down. Gain of... Probably fourth and five, and here comes the punt team again for Edmund Santa Fe. Nice job by the Union defense there. That was number two, J.T. Frederick. He was in on the tackle. The coach's son, the uh, junior, 6'1", yep. 165-pounder. The strong safety. Done a good job so far in Robinson yep. tonight. He had over 300 yards in their game last week. So far tonight, 10 carries, 29 yards. It's 2.9-yard average. Bergen Kaiser, the punt, high snap, brings it down, and the kick is away. Go back deep, taking it there. The 40, outside 45, midfield, flag, down he goes. Number 17, Tyler Brook on the tackle for Santa Fe. And there is Devin Jordan, number five, on the return. Run out of bounds. Look like Bishop Simmons. Near midfield, you see a flag is down back at the 41-yard line, 22 yards on the return by Devin Jordan, a senior. This is talking it over here. Holding against the punt return team. Penalties so far. You had just one so far, so that's now their second penalty. Santa Fe with five for 33 yards. Holding puts the ball back at Union's own 31 yard line. That's where they'll start on this drive with a first down from the Union 31. Showing out to the right side, split out. Again, okay, Delgado. Showing took the direct snap. 30, 35. Across the 36-yard line. Coach talked about that, uh, Tom. They'd be using a lot of a shotgun uh, tonight, Wildcat tonight, and they'd be using a lot of uh, Jordan Shelley taking a direct snap, five yards on the play there. Number one, Bergen, Tice, Bergen Kaiser made the play. Here comes Delgado back into the backfield now with Schilling behind him off to his left side. And he sends three receivers out to the left side as well. Delgado, snap, hands to Schilling. Up the middle he goes. Breaks one tackle and pulled down just across the 40-yard line. Look like that was number 85. And at four, is it up for the first down? Yep, move the chains. All right, just got the first down. So Schilling gets the first down across the 41-yard line. He goes to the sidelines. Now they send him back into the game. 
Out comes Isaac Covington. Waiting for the snap is Cason Dago. Move it on the right side there. Flags are flying. And illegal procedure. It's going to cost uh, the Red Hawks five yards. So only half of the line knew what the snap count was. The other half just went on their own there and <laughs> cost them five. Move back to the Red Hawks 36 yard line. It is now first and 15. Delgado rolling out, looking, looking, pressured, and down he goes inside the 30-yard line. Ball's loose. I think he's going to walk him down there. Yeah, he was he down He was already. down, yeah. Good rush there from uh, the defensive side of the Wolves there. Number 21, Jacob Smith. And I believe number 30. Loss of eight on the play. Tommy Hand both made the play. Now we'll it turned it into a long second down. Second and uh, they're saying 28 from the 28. Need to get to their, across to the 49 yard line for a first down here on a second and long. And whistle. And Evan Santa Fe has called the timeout. And why don't we take a break here, too, on the network? Get a little break in, in, in for us here. Watch, watching Red Hawks football on the Union Sports Network. Oklahoma, Edmond Santa Fe High School, where with four minutes and five seconds left in the first half, Tulsa Union leading Edmond Santa Fe 10 to 3. This is a, being built as a key matchup in uh, District 6A 1 2. Both these teams 4 0 undefeated in district play. Union with a huge second down, second 28. Delgado looking to throw, dumps it off underneath the 30, 35 yard line. Number two, Brendan McQueen keeps it going, goes inside the 40, spins his way, and has a nice run up the sideline there. Be third and short now. What a play there by young Brendan McQueen, and the flag is down again. Coach Frederick is out of the sidelines. Comes out all the way out mid midfield, 21 yards on the gain, but again, a flag was thrown right around the line of scrimmage, or not past, far past that. Coach Frederick, just see now. White advisor walking back, and now they picked up the flag. All right, good call, right? Yeah, so for us. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Very makeable third down now. The game twenty-one will stand, and now it goes from second and twenty-eight to third. What about four? Football Union at their forty-seven yard line, they get just across to the Santa Fe forty-nine for a first down to keep the drive going. Snap, Delgado, no, Schilling has the football. Schilling has the first down, 50, 45. Bowls over a man to the 41-yard line. First down for Union. Direct snap to Jordan Schilling, the junior running back. And he bowls over two defenders there. Third, 12 yard on the third and four play. And first down for Union. Now the football at the Santa Fe 40-yard line. Tackle was made by number nine, Franklin Sherrod, or 
I don't know if you want to call it a tackle. He got run over and knocked the, <laughs> knocked the running back down. Now, Gatos is coming to the right side. Now brings him back in. Quick pass, low. Did he make the catch or is it incomplete? No, nope, incomplete. Waved it off. Tended out there for number 19, Dylan Baldridge, but it was an underthrown ball by Delgado. Incomplete. Second down and 10 now. Still at the 40 yard line in Edmond territory. Union changes their receiver core up. Bring three or four out, bring three or four in. Uh, back in there, Gino Boyd has come back in. Austin Grosco back in, the starting wide receivers along with Brendan McQueen. They go out to the left side. Delgado now puts Covington in motion. Backfield. Looks, throws down the middle, and nobody in the middle except uh, Edmund Santa Fe. Intercepted at the 15 yard line. Intercepted by Dante Austin. Well, he had no chance there. He was the only guy back there. I don't know if there was a mis mistake in the route or what, but there was no, no offensive receiver in that area, really. Dante Austin, the 5'10 senior, strong safety, made the interception. Talk about how few turnovers Union's had this season. Only one fumble. Entire season, Coach, so far in seven games. I think it's like the fifth interception on the year. But that ends another scoring opportunity, and that brings the Edmund Santa Fe offense out on the field. Newton was waiting for the direct snap. Turns, hands out to Robinson, big hole, there he is, 25-30, 35-yard line, breaks on the tackle, 40, here he goes, 45, I think catch him or not, 25-20, pushed him out of bounds there. Heck of an effort for Tulsa Union by number five. Devin Johnson, Devin George, Jordan, 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 excuse me. 67 yards, I tell you, we've been handling Robinson all night, coach, and finally breaks yeah. away, and Heck of a job by Jordan to catch him. He said he usually didn't get caught from behind. He's got great speed. 5'9", 175-pound junior. It breaks one there and takes it all the way down now to the Union 13-yard line. Hand off up the middle. Breaking a couple of tackles. Number 25, that's Joseph Hinton, the backup running back. Takes it all the way down near the 5-yard line. Be second down and short. Gained eight. Second and two. Isaiah Kevington, number 21, and Isaiah Forbes, number 10, making the play. Edmund Santa Fe threatening to try to tie this game up. Daniel Newton, the quarterback, turns, flips to Robinson, cuts inside the five, the three, the two, and one touchdown. Demarius Robinson takes it in from six yards out, and Edmund Santa Fe is an extra point away from tying this game with 2.21 left in the first half. They look like they may be thinking about going for two, coach. No, nope, here comes the kicker now. Caleb Purvis, the place kicker, now comes out on the field. Holding will be Bergen Kaiser. And he'll attempt to try to tie this game at 10 10. The kick is up. It's true, and we are tied. It's 10 10. 221 left in the first half. Tulsa Union and Edmund Santa Fe in this battle for District 6A2. Both teams perfect, 4-0. Both teams on four-game win streaks. And both teams dead even as we approach the end of the first half. We'll take a break here. Red Ox football on the Union Sports Network.
10-10. All tied up here as Edmund Santa Fe gets prepared to kick off the Tulsa Union. Two Red Hawks deep back at the five yard line. There's the kickoff, sails into the end zone. Over Carrasco's head and a touchback. So the Red Hawks will be 80 yards away. First and 10 at their own 20 yard line. Two minutes, 21 seconds left in this first half of play. That scoring drive that tied this game up was Santa Fe's 85 yards in just three plays. The big run, of course, by Robinson set things up. He scored from six yards off with a touchdown. It took just 48 seconds for that touchdown drive. And again, it was their star running back, Robinson, finally broke away, got the big run to set that touchdown up. 67 yards. Tied 10-10. Red Hawks get things going here. Delgado, Hanson Schilling, he's got some running room across the 25, across the 30, and very close to a first down. See if they give it to him here. Tackle by number 33, Will Shoemaker. Just short, called a nine-yard gain. Second and one from their own 29-yard line now. Clock running to two minutes. By himself, the freshman, Casey Delgado, in the backfield. Two receivers left. One to the right. In motion, he comes. Takes the hand off. Keeps it himself. Tries to go up the middle. He's thrown down. As he caught the 30, he should have the first down, though, as he spun across the first down line. That'll be first and 10 for Union. I think that was number three. Did Leon Howard. They didn't. Did they give it to him? Yeah, let's see. Now they're going okay, to move the sticks. They kind of hesitated for a second there, but it is first down Union. Delgado, Jordan Schilling in the backfield behind him. One left, one right. Receivers. Fake to Schilling. Delgado looks. Throws down over the middle. And, oh, knocked no. down. Intended there, number two, Brandon McQueen. And then it's going to say now incomplete. I thought he was reaching for his flag, but now he just, he did okay. He did throw the flag. Yeah, I yeah. see it now at the 37-yard line. As Brandon McQueen was cut down there. Pass interference against the Wolves. It'll be a first down for Tulsa Union if they mark this off here. So the ball is marked to the 45-yard line in the first and 10 now for Union. 129 left in this opening half. Well, I wish they might have the spot of the foul like the pros do. Miles Davis tight end flexes away out to the right side along with Brendan McQueen. Put it back to Delgado. Hands to Schilling. Caught in the backfield. Gets away from one guy, but not in the second guy. Down he goes. Lost on the play. Boy, he got wrapped around the neck there. My number 33, Will Shoemaker. He's made a bunch of tackles. Yes, he has. Number 13, with contact, and we've got three timeouts left. No gain on the play. Shoemaker, six solo tackles so far in the first half, Coach, leading Santa Fe. Clock running under a minute now. From the 45 ground line, second and 10. Delgado, under pressure, throws incomplete. Way over there to Gino Boyd at the 40-yard line. It'll be third down and 10 now. Coverage on the play there by Ronnell Slaughter. Number 11. Made a big play here. 50 seconds left in the first half. Three receivers come out to the left side. Direct step to Delgado. Looks left. Looks back. Throws over the center. Gino Boyd has the 40. Gino 35, 30, 25, 20. He's going to score. 15, 10, 5. Gino Boyd. Touchdown. Tulsa Union on a third and 10 play from their own 45-yard line. Nope. Anybody see any flags? Yes. No, no. Stop it. Oh, my gosh. These are disappearing flags on this near sideline here. Close to the Santa Fe sideline. Not that's a difference, of course, but. And it, another ineligible receiver downfield. Oh, golly. Boy, oh, boy. That is the second 
touchdown had wiped out tonight by an illegal player downfield. Boy, that's a tough one to take, Coach. Man. Yeah. Loss of five, third and 15. Could have called a loss of like 67 or something. My gosh. Handoff, Schilling, 40, spins, trying to get away. Can't, down he goes. It'll be fourth and long for Union. Let the punt of the way. In the final seconds here of this first half, then regroup. Isaac Covington was the ball carrier there, number 21. Boston Kaiser, or excuse me, Bergen Kaiser, number one. Primarily on the tackle. Miles Davis back to punt of the way. Not for Edmund Santa Fe. To return there. Tyam is there. And that is going to be the end of the first half. Won't need a punt of the way at all. Into the first half. We've played two quarters of football. We're dead even still. It's 10 10. Tulsa Union, Edmond Santa Fe in this key District 6A2 matchup here in Edmond, Oklahoma. We'll take a break here, enjoy some of the halftime music and activities, and then we'll uh, come back with the stats and recap and get ready for a second half. Let's get some more offense going here. Tom Stockton, Jeff. John's down there. Richard John's up here and stuff on our crew with Andy Irwin leading the way. This is the Union Red Hawks football on the Union Sports Network.
ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time for the Santa Fe High School Marching We want to thank tonight's staff hospitality sponsors for their donations. Thank you, CeCe's Pizza and Pickleman's of Edmond, for taking care of our game workers tonight. At Coldwell Banker Select, we have the group to meet your commercial real estate needs. The Select Commercial Group. David Roberts can answer all your questions relating to the commercial real estate market, your business operations, and real estate budgets. Sarah Bergeson can help you locate the right commercial property to buy, sell, lease, or rent. Scott Job can provide valuable information regarding property values and lease rates. We treat our clients like family. With properties located all over the state, call us at 918-695-6979. Coldwell Banker Select Commercial Group, proud sponsor of the Union High School Red Hops. summer heats up and your AC isn't working right, be cautious of being pressured into a replacement. It's always a good idea to get a second opinion, and Airco will let you know if your AC is worth fixing. So call Airco today for a free second opinion. Does your school or organization need athletic apparel or spirit wear? Let me suggest Inkwell, a Tulsa-based company that can get you the quality you deserve at unheard of and unmatched lead times. Talking two weeks or less, not two months like most others, and can do it as much as 60% less than most of the big guys out there. So join the likes of Sam Springs, Union, Broken Arrow, Jinx, Ulaga, and Glenpool to name a few and get your customized sublimated uniforms, including Under Armour, Nike, or Adidas at inkwellnation.com. The right way to top a sub is with real red wine vinegar made from red grapes and no food coloring. And the right way to film it is in slow motion. Obviously. Because authentic ingredients make a sub above. <laughs> Racing towards the end of the month? Ask about our early pay options. TCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. We're athletes. Coaches. And your child's high school athletic trainer. We're your friends and neighbors. And we make our home. Our home. In green country. Like you, we run. And fish. Hike. And bike. We enjoy the mountains. And lakes. So we know how important staying active is to you. Staying active is to you. We're physicians. And therapists. Our groundbreaking treatments. Are helping you heal faster. Helping you heal faster. We're advanced orthopedics of Oklahoma. And we're the team physicians for more universities. More high schools. And more club teams. Than all other providers combined. We're focused on providing you. Personalized orthopedic care. Personalized orthopedic care. Treating the area's best teams. And the athlete in all of us. And the athlete in all of us.
Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to direct your attention to the 50-yard line and introduce to you our Canes Teacher of the Game, Mr. Michael Edwards. <laughs> Mr. Edwards has been teaching for 13 years and has taught at Santa Fe for the past 10, currently teaching in the special education program. He enjoys spending time with his wife, two kids, and three dogs. Edwards is also a scoreboard and scorebook guru. Ladies and gentlemen, our teacher of the game, sponsored by Kane, Michael Edwards. Yeah! Woo! That's the one and only right there. Welcome back to Edmond Santa Fe High School. Wolf Stadium here at the halftime of the 6A1 District 2 key matchup between two undefeated district teams. It's number two ranked Union Red Hawks 10 and the number four ranked uh, Edmond Santa Fe Wolves 10. Union with a 6-1 and one season record. Edmond Santa Fe at 5-1. and one. It has been a strange defensive, I guess you'd say, kind of struggle in the first half. Listen to these totals. Union's offense his total in the first half, 120 yards of total offense. 73 passing, 47 rushing. They scored their first play of the game, an opening kickoff, returned by Boston Carrasco. 93 yards for the touchdown. And after that, things really slowed down. Caleb Purvis scored a 37-yard field goal for Evan Santa Fe. 11-17 left in the first half. And with 8.04 left in the quarter, Emerson Kiker counted for Union with a 26-yard field goal to give Union a 10-3 lead. Then with 2.21 left in the first half, it was their outstanding star running back, Demarius Robinson, who broke a 72-yard run, then scored from six yards out. With 2.21 left to play to tie the game up at 10-10. In the first half, Union had a total of 47 yards rushing, 73 yards passing, Santa Fe 29 yards passing, 146 yards rushing, both teams were by penalty. Union lost two touchdowns on, they said, an eligible receiver downfield. Cost them two touchdowns on long plays there. And it's been a struggle for both teams through this first half. Baseball update for you. Those following the league championship series. This afternoon, the Arizona Diamondbacks got back in the race. They defeated the Philadelphia Phillies, shutting down the big bats of the Phillies. Arizona 2, Philadelphia 1. Phillies still lead the series there, 2-1, to one, the best of seven series. And in the American League, the Texas showdown. Right now it's the Rangers and the Astros all tied 3-3 into the fourth inning of play in Texas. So it's, uh, again, Rangers leading that series two games to one. We start with a 74 degrees kickoff. It's now 69 degrees here at Edmond, Oklahoma. Union's just taking the field on the far sideline. 
And Jeff Johns has something for us down the field. Jeff? Well, as you may have guessed, the focus at halftime was mental mistakes. They want to make sure that they can clean things up, play some fundamentally sound, mistake-free football for an entire second half. They believe if they do that, they've produced enough quality plays on both sides of the ball that they should come out on top as long as they can clean things up. Back to you. Thank you, Jeff. Coach Stockton, some of your thoughts on that first half. What does this team have to do to get things going here in the second half with, by the way, Evan Santa Fe will receive the second half kickoff. Hold on, Coach. All right, we got to keep kind of shooting ourselves in the foot with penalties and, and this and that. And to be honest with you, if you'd have told me it might be tied at halftime, I might have said, okay, but not 10 to 10. <laughs> I thought it'd be a little higher scoring than that, but that says something about the defenses and and uh, the way people are playing. And I think this first series is going to be, is going to be important. At tonight's game, Union has just two. Imagine that, just two regular season games remaining. It's, this is the Edmund series, we're calling it. We started tonight with uh, Edmund Santa Fe. Next week, we'll be back on the side of the state at Edmund, Edmund Memorial. Then back home the following Thursday, November the 2nd, to host the other Edmund team, Edmund North, on senior night. Union and... Edmund Santa Fe battling for the control of District 2 and 6A1. It's one of the scores right now. Owasso, everybody's on the west side of the state. Owasso, 5-2, leading Edmund Memorial, 35-21. That's in the second quarter. Also over here, uh, Broken Arrow, Enid. That's tomorrow's game. As well as Bixby also, Westwood, that's tomorrow. Edmund North beating UConn, 28-17. And Moore leading Norman North. 19 to 15 tonight. Jenks and Southmore play here at Southmore also tomorrow night. So Jenks and Bixby playing here tomorrow night. Everybody on the west side is the fall break schedule has got everybody turned around here. Union looking to get some rhythm on offense. Of course, this entire first half just really lacked any rhythm at all. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's just, you know, it looked like things were going to happen, things would be good, and then boom, it'd be a penalty or or a drop ball or a something, you know, and it just absolutely no, like you said, no, no, I don't know what to say. You just, nothing happens. It just kept going yeah. and going and going. You know, a young freshman quarterback had an interception. He kind of threw one down in the middle of the field with nobody around for that one, where that one was going. But for the most part, he didn't play bad coach. He, uh, uh, in the first half here, Delgado was 7 of 13 passing, 73 yards, one interception. Had a long of 54% uh, completion. Uh, as far as uh, rushing, Schilling had uh, 13 carries for 54 yards, as long as being 13 yards. The Edmund Santa Fe standout junior running back. Demarius Robinson, thanks to that uh, one 72-yard run. But he had 12 carries, 107 yards, 8.9 average. But again, 107 yards, 72 came on one play. So yeah, pretty much that well, he was worried about. Yeah, nobody, and, and they're running back. I mean, he was... Told, you know, we were told he's the best, you know, maybe the best in the state. He's looked like it on film and that, but we've done a good job kind of keeping him in check. A little bit, anyway. Union sends their kickoff team out. Kicking off for the Red Hawks again. 84, Emerson Kaku, their soccer kicker. And the Wolves send two players deep. Number two, Ty Amos, back deep to receive for Santa Fe. Ty Amos is back deep. What him over there. Also, Blake Davis, 14. Three across the field. And there's the signal. Where did they go? Second half is underway here in Edmond, Oklahoma, Santa Fe High School. Into the end zone. Touchback. And come out to the 20-yard line. Edmund, let's see what kind of uh, moves the two coaching staffs have made now. Coach, yeah. what kind of adjustments they've had at halftime here as uh, we bring the Union defense back out on the field there. Again, they held uh, Santa Fe to 175 total yards, only 29 passing, 146 rushing, but again, that's skewed by that 172-yard run. So... Defense has not done a bad job at all. No. Two touchdowns called not back by penalties. 
another Geno Boyd had a look at a touchdown pass in the goal line, dropped in the end zone, so it's a lot of errors self-inflicted by Union. Here we go, Danny Newton, the quarterback. There's hand to Robinson. Robinson trying to get outside. He's going to be snowed under. Didn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Great job there. Number 21 Covington is in there quickly. Make the play there. Yeah, Isaac Covington. No gain. Newton again. Robinson now in motion. Low snap. Scrambles, scrambles, throws, and just throws it into the ground there. Incomplete. Got a lot of uh, dark green jerseys around there, so I don't think we any flag coming to it. Now, uh, Coach Fred doesn't agree. He's out on the field. See the top of the screen there, and the red, just he's complaining about it. And they're talking about it now. Let's see if they're going to get a grounding penalty on him or not. He just, obviously, he's throwing it away. Right in the center of the field, a lot of players around there, but nobody close to the ball. So no receiver around there. A lot of linemen, but still discussing it. Again, Mike Tone, our referee tonight. Or Tone. <laughs> Andy Irwin with the French pronunciation. It makes him sound a little better. Okay, Mr. Tone. Yeah, there we go. It is. Intentional grounding against Daniel Newton. Gee, those aren't the union coaches right next door to us, are they? <laughs> yes. <laughs> they, I, think they, they, I think they enjoyed that penalty. They got excited about that one. <laughs> yes. Head coach Kyle White wasn't too pleased with that for uh, Edmund. Think about this. This football team coach last year was 1-9. and nine. I know. 1-9. and nine. What a turnaround, dude. Now 5-1 and one and undefeated in the district against Tulsa Union here. So market back now to the 10-yard line, a third down and 20. Pass on the flat. Goes outside to Robinson. Makes the move to the 15-yard line. We pulled out there. Nice job. They don't play there by number five. Just Devin Jordan. Four yards. Devin's done a good job there. So how about that? Four yep. and out. Get him off the field. Pin him deep. Hopefully get a good field to work with here. Their punter's done a good job tonight, though. This kid, uh, Bergen Kaiser. Their punter's had some good punts this evening. 47 yards is the longest average. 43 yards a punt. So he'll, he'll kick it away. Oh, the rush is on. Blocked. Picked up at the 10 into the end zone. Touchdown, Tulsa Union. Number eight. Is that Logan that, Haney or Brandon Davis? Two I number eights. I'm not sure. I think it's... Bra it's Dan, Dan, right? Brandon, Brandon Danzig. Brandon Danzig. Number eight, right? Yeah. yeah. Block, punt, and then the pick up and scoop and score. Wow, do they need that one. How about that? We started the first half with yeah. a kickoff return. 93-yard touchdown kickoff return. Now we start the second with a block, punt, and a scoop and score. And an extra point is up. And the kick is good. And Tulsa Union has now jumped back on top, 17-10. Celebrating next door. All right. Well-deserved, guys. And boy, we needed that, huh, Coach? Whew. Man. Good job by the Union defensive team here. Special teams come up with a big play. Two special team plays yeah. tonight. Kickoff return and now the block punt for a touchdown. So 14. Think of that. The Red Hawks 17 points came from their special teams, Coach. Yeah. Don't care how you score. Just get them on the know. board, right? You don't, <laughs> you don't gripe about it. That's for sure. Again, beautiful evening in football here in Edmond, Oklahoma. Much of the game time temperatures start off at 74 degrees. What you just checked is 69 right now. What you put his coat on. It's a little chilly up here. <laughs> and they're all glassed in. We have no, no windows open at all here. So you did to kick it off. Emerson Kiker, number 84. You got three deep for... Santa Fe. The middle of that group is Ty Amos, number two. But uh, so far, Kiker's been kicking it through the end zone. He did it again for him. 
Nicely done, and that brings out the 20-yard line where the Wolves will start first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Here comes that uh, defensive unit for Tulsa Union. They have been really playing great football here tonight. Coach, who's really impressed you on that defensive side? Oh, I, it'd be hard to pick just one. I think, you know, certainly... Yeah, Isaac Covington had seven yeah. solo tackles the Isaac first half. Covington. Two for losses. Uh, uh, Isaiah Forbes had five tackles, uh, two solo tackles. Lane Wood had four tackles. Devon Jordan had four tackles. So nicely done here by the Union defensive unit. And the Wolves now first down their own 20-yard line. Their quarterback, the junior, Daniel Newton. The running back, Demaris Robinson, behind him. Now he brings two receivers in, sets them off to the left side. Union has a rush on Breaking through Robinson, and oh, just got tackled at the 25 yard line. He might have been gone. Woo hoo! Man, he shot through there. Great job by number 11. Ashton Fowler. Eight yard gain, and boy, that could have been a lot more, coach. Woo. Oh, as fast as he is, you bet it is. Ashton Fowler got him there, and it holds now a second down and two. Again, handoff to Robinson. He's going to get the first down. It goes across the 32 to the 33 yard line. Gave him five on that play. They're going to their workhorse now. J.T. Frederick on the tackle, number two. Robinson in the first half, 115 yards, 14. He's coming out now, Robinson is. Brings back in Joseph Hinton. First and 10. Wolves at their own 34-yard line. Handoff and knocked down there and dragging a couple of guys across the 35-yard line was uh, Joseph Hinton, number 25. A lot of Isaac Covington, number two, was in one of the Red Hawks in there on it, but I think number 44. Three yards. Number zero, Lane Wood. With Lane Wood also. Oh, it's it's also, yeah, Lane Woods. Newton waiting for the snap on a second down and six. Low snap. Hands it again. Oh, he swarmed under. I had no chance on that play. Swarmed under. No game. In fact, a loss of a play of about a yard, two yards. Lane Wood, zero Good in job. on the play. So now it's the third down and six, eight for Santa Fe. I think this is a big one. If we make them punt it away right here, I think this is a big one. They have to get to their own 43 for a first down. Union showing some pressure. They've got to blitz them, see if they come. Here they come, and pressure's on. Goes down the right sideline, and nobody's there. Looked like a Nobody. miscommunication. Yeah. The receiver went inside, and the quarterback threw it to the sideline. He was there with number 10, Kwesim Kareem. Number 10, and uh, Kareem. there was no chance on that one. Out of bounds, incomplete. Fourth down, Fourth time down. to punt again. They bring their punter, Bergen Kaiser, back in. And Union has a chance to get some good field position here and get this thing under control. Isaac Covington is deep for Tulsa Union, standing at his 29-yard line. Nice high punt. Fair catch. Call for that a bounce. No. Oh, it hit it. Union player, I think. In the back. Yep. Bounced up. Looked like it hit number 11. Ashton Fowler had no idea the ball was that close to him. It was a short punt. Bounce and hit Fowler, and it'll be a turnover against Tulsa Union. Once again, special teams having a big impact on this game. Union defense to come back uh, on the field. Here comes the offense. Boy, that was a tough break, Coach. Yeah, it really was, because he had no idea the ball was going to bounce and hit him in the back. Uh. So it'll be Lewis football at the Red Hawk 34-yard line, or excuse me, 29-yard line. Newton. With Demarius Robinson in the backfield behind him. Robinson cuts inside and is pulled down quickly as he crosses inside the 30-yard line, about the 28. Only gaining one or two yards, maybe a yard on the play. Lane Wood, zero. Well, he's done a good job tonight. And also number 11, Ashton Fowler in on the play. Second down and nine. Santa Fe trailing Tulsa Union 17 to 10 here in the third quarter of this crucial district 6A1 district 2 championship type game. Oh, hand, quarterback keeps it himself, avoids one tackle, but now can't get away from a second one. Nice job in open field. Number, four, number 21, Isaac Covington. Isaac Covington. 
Did a good job there of pulling him down, and it'll be the <laughs> down for the Wolves here. Third down. So third down and eight, they're calling it. He needs to get uh, inside the Union 20 for a first down. Newton with Robinson just set off to his left side. Two, three receivers out to the left side. Fakes the handoff, looks to throw, gonna run, gonna be pulled down, and down he goes inside the 25 yard line. Well short of the uh, 19 for a first down. Gate of four, fourth down. You have a pretty good field goal kicker. Let's see if they send him out here again. Number 21, Isaac Covington making the play. The oh, they're gonna keep the offense on the field, coach, and go yes. for it here on fourth down and three. Trailing by seven. 7.20, clock running left in the third quarter. Newton, the quarterback. Robinson behind him. Have to get to the 19 for a first down. Here we go. Hand off. Not going to get there. Wow, well, pulled no. down. Great job. Number 11, Ashton Fowler. How about that? 5'11", 170-pound senior. Made some big plays so far. Fowler is the one that the ball hit on that right. point. How about and that, he huh? just got that tackle yeah. to turn the ball back to him. All's forgiven. <laughs> Great job by the Union defense. Stuffed him there. On a fourth down play, and Union takes over first and 10 at its own 24-yard line. Now the offense comes back on the field. It's their turn to get going here now. Union's right on their special teams and their defense so far tonight. Now it's time for the offense to step up. Freshman quarterback, Casey Delgado. Turns, hands off, showing off the right side, runs into his own man on the right side, and now pulled down just across the 27-yard line. Again, just two or three on the play. Again, a four officially. Several in on the tackle, but number 33, I believe, was the initial tackler, Will Shoemaker. Second and six. Union their own 28-yard line, leading here 17 to 10 at Edmund Santa Fe. Miles Davis, the tight end, goes out to the right side. Two receivers also join him out there. And then two receivers to the left side. Now they turn around and bring him inside. Schilling comes to the backfield with Delgado. Snap, handoff. Schilling, oh, he slips and falls. Slipped and fell. Just he got the handoff. Down he goes. The third and long. That was a tough break there. Yeah, it was. Oh, man. At the 26-yard line. Third down. Looks like it's about eight. Yeah, need to get to the 34 for this first down. Two receivers left. Uh, three to the right side. Casey Delgado, the freshman. Alone in the backfield. Takes a snap. Pressure's on. Throws the outside. Caught at the 30. Trying to break a tackle. Dives for the first down. And he got it. Nicely done there. Did, yes. Boston Cross goes out right. No, number two. Brandon McQueen, Brandon McQueen, number two, number two McQueen the made the reception, fought the for the extra ball. yardage, gets 10 yards on the play, needed uh, eight, and it's first down for Tulsa Union at their own 35-yard line. Number 30, Tommy Hand made the tackle over there, but not until there was a first down. Good, tough running by McQueen there. First and 10, Tulsa Union. High snap, oh, and smash the backfield. Delgado handed to Jordan Schilling. So I don't want this thing, and man, he got driven as they he battled for it in the backfield. Guy came unblocked and just crushed him. Wow. Loss on the play, second and long. We're about, we're about to run out of feet. We keep shooting ourselves in the feet. I think we're about to run out of them. <laughs> and we had a, had a little momentum going there. Now it's going to be second and long. Line of scrimmage, the Union 27. Need the 45 for a first down. Second along, long, got hands off. Schilling goes up the middle there, breaks one tackle, swarmed under at the 30 yard line, just a short gain of four yards. The third and long again for Tulsa Union. They just converted the last time. Let's see if they can pull it off again. And number 30, Tommy Hand. In on the tackle. Ball to 32, keep in mind they need the 45 for a first down here. Redox again sent two receivers left, two to the right. Shutting in the backfield with Delgado, brings another man back in here. Delgado 
Rushes on, throws, is hit up in the air, and it's going to be underthrown there, and no chance for Brandon McQueen to come back and get it number two, the intended receiver. <coughs> but <coughs> Delgado was hit just as he threw the football, and incomplete. Fourth down, and Union sends the punt team out. All right, Miles Davis to punt of the way for Tulsa Union. Number two, deep for Edmund Santa Fe. That's Ty Amos. Punt, low driving kick. Bounces to 40. And going to go sideways there, and they'll let it roll, and they're touching it down there after having an issue the last time, number 11. Ashton Fowler. This time with no damage there, and it's going to be Wolves football. They'll have it at their own 37-yard uh, line. First and 10, Edmund Santa Fe. They trail Tulsa Union 17 to 10 here. With 10-10 at halftime. It's been a story of special teams for Tulsa Union. A 92-yard, 93-yard opening kickoff return to start the game. And a block punt, scoop and score by Baylor Danzi in the third quarter here to account for their two touchdowns in the game. Handoff goes to Robinson. Up the middle there. Gains about six or seven. Remember, they got a left tackle, 6'5", 305 senior, Joss Ayoso, who is the U University of Oklahoma commit. Number 16, Tucker Coke on the tackle. The left side is where they love running the football. Newton on a second down and five. Again, it goes to Robinson. He is choked off there. Gets a couple yards, be third and short now. Looks like Davion Pickens was initially on the tackle. Third and two for the Wolves. Got receivers split out left and right. In the backfield, Robinson behind the quarterback, Newton. Two men, two tight ends in there to block for him. Breaks through Robinson, goes across midfield. First down for the Wolves. Robinson. Pull down. Oops. Number 16 there, yeah. Yeah, Tuck, Tucker. Cook. Cook. Sure Seven-yard gain. Pronounce that. First down for Edmund Santa Fe. Looking to pass is Newton now. Goes deep and overthrows everybody. Intended down there for number 10, Faisal Kareem. Good coverage back though, though, for Tulsa Union. He had no shot on that. Yeah, Devin Jordan. Yep. Great coverage. In fact, he came closer to having a chance to catch the ball than the receiver did. Remember, Newton is only a 48% passer. His game is running. He's a great runner with the football, but not a whole lot passing. Back tonight, they have just 33 yards passing the football. Boy, this guy can run. Newton hands off to Robinson. Robinson's not hit. Just he crossed the line of scrimmage. Push back. Maybe got a yard, and that's about it. Nice, nicely done by the center of that Union defense. Number 16, Tucker Coat on the tackle for Union. Yeah, number 16, Stephen Cook. Under two and a half to play in the third quarter, and a whistle before the play gets underway. We'd have a legal procedure against Edmund Santa Fe. will cost him five, so a third and eight will turn into a third and 13 here as they move the football back outside of Union territory. We can't let them out of this. No. Nope. I'm just saying we can't let them out of this. We need, if they stop them here and they have to punt it to us, that's what we need. Line of scrimmage. Edmund Santa Fe's own 47-yard line. Need to reach the 39 of Union for a first down here. Here we go on a big third down play. Newton takes a snap, picks it up, rushes on, throws a middle screen, and is tipped away and incomplete. Looking in the middle there for Robinson, went off his hands. Incomplete. Anybody see a flag? No flags. All right, fourth down, punt time for the Wolves. They'll bring out their punter, Bergen Kaiser. What do you think, Coach? Would they try to fake a punt here? I Down wouldn't think seven. they would. Well, Midfield. You know, yeah, well, they're, they 
I wouldn't. I'm going to tell you that. I wouldn't. Still plenty of time left in the game. Catch it upon. JT Frederick is back in single safety. The Union running up for a fair catch. And, oh, Ooh. makes an exciting catch there. JT jumped for the football. The ball bounced off his pad. And he jumped up and got it the second time. So two catches for JT Frederick. He's usually not back there on punt returns. Coach, no, so. I think maybe they were wondering if they would maybe try to yeah. take it or do something. Yeah. So you will have possession, though. First and 10 at their own 26-yard line. Now two minutes, five seconds left here in the third quarter. Big Harlem Henry, they set it. Number 74, 63, 305 pounder. Led the offensive line out to the field. Kenny Delgado. Chilling off there, gets a handoff, off he goes over the 30-yard line, spins to the 33-yard line. They've done a good job of really controlling Jordan Schilling pretty much. Six yards gained on that play. Schilling now with 58 yards on 18 carries. His longest run all night has been 13 to the 3.1-yard average. Delgado throws out to the flat and just skips it to a low. Headed out there for Gino Boyd. They had good coverage out there, though, too, so it might have been fortunate there was a Short pass into the ground. It'll be third down, though, now. Third down and four. I think this is a big one. I think they probably run the rest of the clock out at the end of the quarter if we get this first down. Gito Boyd, Brandon McQueen come to the left side. They send three receivers to the right side. The freshman, Casey Delgado, by himself in the backfield. Says, Come on, guys, join me in here. Here comes Jordan Schelling, he joins him now. The other two receivers inside. Schelling takes a head off the middle, it goes 30, 35, first down, 40. And across the 43 yard line, just tripped up there. Boy, a guy just got a hand on him there at the 40 yard line, he might have really gone. Yeah, number nine, Franklin Sherrod. 11 yards on the run by Jordan Schelling. His second longest tonight, he had 13. Yard run of the first half. Shelling out the 70 yard mark. Robinson, meanwhile, for Edmund Santa Fe, their star running back with 134 yards. Running again, that one huge 70 yard plus run. First down, Union. End up outside it comes and shake and bake. 45, 50, 45, 40. There's Isaac Covington down the left sideline, and the first down, nice gain there for Tulsa Union. Isaac Covington on the carry. And number 11, yards. number 11, Ronnell Slaughter. Dragged him out of bounds. Shunning comes out, Covington stays in the backfield. Here comes the freshman, Jason Delgado, back to the sideline, talking to the offensive staff. Union now in Edmond Santa Fe territory. Looking to get maybe a score to dominate this football game finally. Delgado looking to throw. Starts to pump out and he's going to be swarmed on. Down he goes. Go it away, son. Yeah. could not get out of his hands quick enough. A big loss on the play. Bergen Kaiser, number one. Man, that hurts. So all the way back to the Edmund Memorial 44 yard line. Loss on the play makes it now second and 20. He the 24 for a first down here. Now Goddard flips his receivers from his right to his left side. Hands off coming up the middle 40, 35. Makes one tackle 30, makes another tackle 25. Still on his feet, the 20. Trying to grab him, hold him, hold him down. They pull him down at the 11-yard line. Oh, what a run by number 21, the senior. Six-foot, 200-pound Isaac Covington on a big third down play. Takes it all the way down inside Edmund Santa Fe's 15-yard line, 32 yards. 32 yards on the run. And it's first and 10, Union at the 11-yard line as we come to the end here of the third quarter. Show nine seconds left in quarter number three. So they're going to start the clock up on us here. Timeout has been called on the field. No, nope. oh, timeout. Who took the timeout? <clears throat> they said we have a timeout on the field. We'll keep it here with just nine seconds left in the court. He's going to wind it anyway, I think, isn't he? Yeah. 
Well, the officials trying to get them to run the clock. Okay, they are. And it's counting down. That's going to be the end of the third quarter. And Tulsa Union, thanks to the special teams and some good defense, leading this hard-fought District 6A-1-2 showdown game here tonight. The two unbeatens in District 2. It's now Tulsa Union 17, Edmond Santa Fe 10, 12 more minutes of football left when we come back here on the Union Sports Network. Welcome back to the fourth quarter of this key 6A-1-2 District 2 game at Edmond Santa Fe with the Union Red Hawks leading the Wolves of Edmond Santa Fe 17-10. Ready to start the fourth quarter. First and 10 Union at the 11-yard line. Hand off in the backfield. Breaking one tackle is uh, Isaac Covington. He's had a big second half here. He's got five on that play. Number 21, Isaac Covington on the carry. Look like Franklin Sherrard, number nine, once again on number the tackle. Good job over there with Jesse Jones and Dominic Alvarez on the left side of that offensive line for Tulsa Union. Delgado takes the snap. Going to keep it himself up the middle of the five. The three, the two, the one, and going to be just short. Number 24, Shelling Good. on the carry. Jordan Shelling took the direct snap. Excuse me, Jordan Shelling the direct snap. Number one, Part of that Wildcat package the that he used tonight very successfully. Number one, Bergen Kaiser on the play to keep it from going to the end zone. It's also first down, first and goal from inside the one-yard line. How about that? Schelling comes back in. And Schelling again set up in that uh, Wildcat package. Yeah. Also there is Covington in the backfield with him. Snap, hand up. Isaac Covington is going to walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Tulsa Union. A yard out, soup to the left side. Good Block on the left side, sealed it off into the end zone when Covington touched down, and that could be the backbreaker right there. Wow. Finally, the offense gets an offensive touchdown, Coach. Yes, 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 yes. Kiker in to attempt the extra point. There's a kick. And the kick is good. 11 minutes, three seconds left to play in this game, and it is Tulsa Union 24, Edmond Santa Fe 10. Oh, boy. Needed that one. That is the first offensive touchdown for Tulsa Union tonight. And it comes with just 11 minutes and three seconds left in the game. Again, they scored on the first play of the game. The opening kickoff returned by Boston Carrasco, 93 yards. And then they scored on a block punt scoop and score. To start this uh, second half, uh, Raylan Danzi picked it up and took it to the end zone. And now finally, Isaac coming in on a one-yard touchdown run with 11.03 left to play. And that capped a 74-yard, nine-play drive, Coach. It took three minutes and two seconds. And boy, that was a key one. Oh, awesome. Covington, of course, uh, we mentioned when he showed up here in this third quarter, he now has... Five carries, 62 yards. Schelling has 20 carries, 75 yards. So now finally the offense got going, the 119 yards rushing, 201 yards of total offense. The Santa Fe's 204 yards. They just needed the most. Here they came. Packer to kick it away. The Wolves have three deep. They've had no return so far tonight, though. They've done a good job of kicking this out of the end zone.
And there's a low driving yeah. kick through the end zone. And we had another touchback. And first and 10 for Santa Fe. With their own 20-yard line. This is not a passing team, Coach. No, it's not. No, it's not. I was sitting here thinking that. We've got them in a situation where they're probably going to have to pass it, but they still have that you know, outstanding running back. Is that uh, Dan Newton, the quarterback, the junior? That's a five late pass. It. It's been dinked and dunked in a 33-yard total. So they have no impact on the game at all. But here they come. And remember, they got that dangerous. Uh, Maris Robinson can strike any time. Good to get him out of the back. He'll come out to the left side now. Newton alone in the in number low snap. Pressure's on. Trying to get away from one, two. He can't do that. Going to lose a yard or two on the play. Nice pressure there from the Union defense. Pulled him down there in the backfield. Lane Wood again, number zero, led the way. Good job. Second down, 11. Loss of one. And best of all, the clock keeps running. Just keeps running. Yeah, that's the best thing. Newton, Robinson behind him. Hands to Robinson. Robinson breaks the tackle. Left side to 30. Cuts back to 35-yard line. Pulled down to 37-yard line. Boy, some nice quick moves there. And again, Lane Wood made the big tackle and saved what could have been a touchdown. Wow. He broke a tackle there by J.T. Frederick, but with J.T. hitting him like he did and holding him up for a sec, it allowed Lane Wood to be able to come down and make the play. Coach Frederick's out on the field. What's the issue here? Timeout on the field. Is it okay. Their leading rusher, Demarius Robinson, number six, injured on the play. And that throws a ball of his crowd here. Doesn't look too bad, though. He's going to, looks like he's going to limp off here a little bit here. Hope he'll be able to return for this squad. Outstanding young junior running back. 154 yards rushing, got over 300 yards last week. He's been averaging. Uh, 251.5 yards a game through six games for Edmund Santa Fe this season, Coach. 22 touchdowns. Oh, he is something else. And just a junior. So we have the play stop for the injured player there. He has not come back on the field as yet. Placing him was their senior, Joseph Hinton, number 25. And behind the quarterback, Newton, two receivers out to the right side, one to the left. First and ten, and one forty other. Again, low snap, handoff, hitting the backfield, and pulled down there was Joseph Hinton. Number twenty-five, Joseph. Really, one man, but not the second. A really good tackle there by number two, J.T. Frederick. Number two, just a yard. It's called second and nine. Football at the Wolves' forty-yard line. Clock running down to the ten-minute mark now. Left in this football game. 24-10, Tulsa Union. Newton, snap, hands off. Got to break a couple tackles there and across the 45-yard line, just short of the first down is their backup running back, Joseph Hinton, number 25. Gain of seven. The third down and three now near midfield. And Kofor Cook, excuse me. Kofor Cook able to make the play. It's a big play right here, third and about three. Newton fakes the handoff, looks to throw, and it is intercepted. Picked up by Isaac Covington, number 21, number 21 at the 46 yard line. line and Union takes over. The defense stands up and makes a big play, Coach, for him. Uh, I take, well, I'm, not, I'm a former coach, but you've got the best runner, best running back around. I, I, I might have had him running the ball maybe yep. twice there to get there. He was on the sideline with injury, though. Oh, that's remember? right. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. But coming, they made the big defensive play for Tulsa Union. Six foot, 200 pound senior, which has also been a heck of an offensive weapon, too. Five carries, 62 yards. Showing to the backfield, though, to start this series now. Union at their own 46 yard line. Looking for a kill shot now here. Delgado hands to Schilling. Schilling met by a couple of guys in the backfield and pushes forward maybe to the line of scrimmage. Man, he got a yard, and that's about it, though. Sure, Coach Weber, just happy to keep it on the ground here, Coach, and run that clock. Number three, Devin Howard was the initial tackler on the play. Second and nine for the Red Hawks. 
Delgado comes in from the sideline with a play. McQueen and Gino Boyd go out to the left side. No receivers out right. Miles Davis, the tight end, now flips over the other side here. Taking the snap. Here is Schilling. Schilling lowers his shoulder, goes near the 50 yard line. Got four on the play. Alex Third Jones, down, six. excuse me, Taj Avery in on the tackle. Maddox may be thinking right now, just run it, run it, run it, punt it down there and make him go 90 yards or so. Third down, long six, need to get to the Edmund Santa Fe 44-yard line for the first down. Delgado takes the snap, quick throw outside. Does he have it? I think so. I First think down. Does. Yes, sir. Great catch there by Jordan Schelling right on the sideline here. They move the sticks. First down, Tulsa Union. And the clock will keep rolling. And again, number five, Tash Avery. Knocked him out of bounds. Spot the football now at uh, the Wolves' 43 yard line. On a first down. Two receivers go out left. Delgado hands to Schilling. Schilling trying to go up the left side, but he is swarmed under. No chance there. Good rush there by the Wolves defensive line, and they stop him for no gain on the play. Second and ten. And I think that was in trouble finding. Look like number 13, but I don't see a number 13. Maybe it was just number three. No, there's a 13. Delgado sends two receivers out to the right side, one left. Now puts a man in motion. Takes the motion man, throws out the middle. Wide open in the play at the 15, at the 10, at the 5, into the end zone. There is Geno Boyd for the touchdown from 43 yards out. A 43-yard touchdown strike from the freshman, Casey Delgado, to the senior, Geno Boyd. No flags. Arms in the air for the referee. Touchdown, Tulsa Union. That should do it. 7.04 left. That could have been the kill shot they needed, Coach. I, it better be. They better <laughs> <laughs> 31 to 10. It better be the kill shot they needed. Once again, Emerson Kiker waits for the extra point. Kick is up. And let's put uh, 31 on the board now. 31 to 10. Tulsa Union over Edmund Santa Fe in the fourth quarter of this big 6A2 district showdown game. As Tulsa Union looks to go 5-0 in the district, 7-1 in the season. But still 7-0-4 left to play. Let's take a break here. You're watching Red Hawks football on the Union Sports Network. Tiger, way to kick it off. Three Wolves are back deep inside their own 10 yard line. They've had nearly a chance to turn any so far tonight. They will on this one. Picks the four yard line, the 10, 15, outside the 20, and knocked out of bounds near the 25 yard line. Number two, Ty on the Davis return. On the return. First down in 10, Santa Fe. Knocked out of bounds there. A cute. Kevion Davis. Kerryon Davis, I'm sorry. Henry was the guy returning the football for Evan Santa Fe. Here come the Wolves out. 
And there is Therese Robinson, number six, back in the backfield after a minor injury there. Took him out of that last series. Newton from his own 21. Keeps it himself. Oh, big hit there. Loss on the play. Nicely done by Covington. Boy, he has been all over the field. I think Covington yes, 21. Defensively and offensively. Covington on the tackle for Union. You kind of wonder what. Covington tonight, Santa Coach has, gonna do. Isaac Covington has 10 tackles, all solo. 10 solo tackles in a big night. Second and 10. Newton hands off. Robinson up the middle. Stacked up there. Number six, Robinson on the carry for Santa Fe. It's on number 10 in there. Isaiah Forbes led the way. Third down. Leading nine. Newton looks to throw. Pass has it. 30, first down, 35 yard line. Quick pass outside there. Ashton Fowler. 15. Yard gain on the play to uh, Parson Kareem, number 10. And a first down for Edmund Santa Fe. Under six minutes to play. Handoff goes out to, uh, to Robinson. Robinson pulled down. Right to get to the 40 yard line. Number six, Robinson on the carry. Tackled by number 21. Isaac Covington. Covington. You've said that name a lot, making tackles tonight. That's 11 solo tackles 11 for him. Tackles. 11 Again, low snap. Newton picks it up, though. Throws down the right side. Has a man and in and out. Oh. And incomplete, almost intercepted there. Number yeah, two, foul was over there and knocked the ball away. Be now a third and long for the Wolves. At the 40, had to get to the 47 for a first down. Two receivers left, one to the right. Needs seven on third down. Newton throws out in the flat, comes to Robinson, makes one player miss, but can't get away from yep. another one there. JT Frederick. Yeah, the coach's son pulls him down after only a three yard gain, sets up a fourth down. And they'll go for it. I'm Absolutely. Sure. Down 31 to 10 with 5.23 left to play. They have the offense on the field. Newton with uh, Robinson in the backfield. Fourth down four. Need to get up to their 47 yard line. Hand off Robinson, has it, has the first down, spins away and goes near midfield. First down for Edmund Santa Fe. Move the sticks on that one. Five yard gain in the play. Isaac well, Covington. Again. Said that name, yeah, <laughs> said that name a lot on making tackles. Well, if they want to keep running the ball and running the clock, I'm okay. Exactly. In the backfield, though. Keeping the football. Corbett right there with a nice run on the play. Gets three or four yards. Daniel Newton, their junior Newton quarterback. Done a good job pretty much controlling him tonight. Seven of 12 passing, just 51 yards. Rushing the football, just 20 or 32 yards on 14 carries. So done a nice job containing that speedy quarterback. Second down, long. Again, Newton throws up. Has a man wide open. Oh, Drops the football oh. and had a chance to intercept it. Did he? No, he just leave. Down on the ground. Good coverage on the play there by Ashton Fowler. Pass intended for number six, Robinson. Falls incomplete. Incomplete intended out there for Robinson. He's coming out of the game. He lost his helmet there on the play. So now on a third down and six. They take their best player off the field on offense. Need to get to the Union 41-yard line. Newton with... Hitting in the backfield with him now. Fake Stanton, Newton wants to throw, pressure's on, and down he goes to the backfield. Nicely done, number 44. Tulsa Union pulls him down to the backfield. Looks like that's, I don't know if that's, yeah, I think that's his, Ian Rowe, number 44. We got two number 44s, but this one's a defensive lineman. Ian Rowe. 6 3. 225 senior, number 44. Goes now fourth down, and they 
They're going to go for it, though. A direct snap. Newton wants to throw. Has the man wide open in the middle. It's caught and then dropped. There again. Robinson again. He loses his helmet. Now a flag comes down. You've got to be kidding me. Big hit. Delayed flag. Came down at the 25-yard line. Ashton Cunningham, you know, in the play. He made the big hit? Uh, I believe he did, yes. Player still down on the field. Official's not giving us the call yet, but obviously a foul against Tulsa Union for unnecessary roughness of targeting. That's what they call here. Yeah, personal foul. No targeting situation there. Just a big hit, and they call it. Personal foul, uh, and roughness on Tulsa Union. Still down on the turf is Demaris Robinson at the 25-yard line. Yeah, he's holding, holding his right knee when he kind of hit earlier there. I think he was trying to get his breath back. He really took a pop there. Robinson stuck a hand up to try to bring the ball down the pass a little bit high. And when he did, he got leveled. And is a and he is slowly coming off the field now. Robinson had a, had a tough night here. Demarius Robinson, 23 rushing attempts, 158 yards, longest of 72 yards, average 6.9 yards a carry. As far as receiving the football, have Robinson here. Let's see. He has four catches of 15 yards there. And the second time he's had to leave the field, shaken up there. Coach Frederick is out on his uh, near hash mark <laughs> talking to his defense. Now he's going to talk to a bit of the officials. So come on, guys. Look a good hit from Union side. So the penalty is marked off from the line of scrimmage in high school football. So 10 yards there. We'll take it to a first down at the Union 41-yard line. Newton, low snap, gets it, goes over the middle, then up the sideline. He's going to be catch. Yeah, they got to say it's a completed catch. Just inside the Union 30-yard line. We cut off on it. Hey, wow. First down at the Red Hawk 29 yard line for Edmund. Clock now under 340 and 343 rather play. Handoff goes to Robinson Hinton, excuse me, Joseph Hinton. We'll get about three on the play, second down, and just let that clock keep rolling along here. JT Frederick on the tackle. Three and a half minutes left. 31. Number two. 10. Tulsa Union going to win their fifth straight district game. Pass is too high, intended out there for number 10, Wasim Kareem. Incomplete. Let's stop the clock, though, but third and 10. Three nineteen to go. Hitting in the backfield, placing the injured Demarius Robinson. Back to pass is Newton. Newton being chased, now throws on the run. Did he catch it? Yes, completed catch. Nicely done out there at the 25 yard line. Number 19, Trey Whalen with the reception. Catch made by Trey Whalen, number 19. Five yards on the play. It's another fourth down, trying to convert here for the Wolves. Fourth and five, need to get to the Union 19 yard line for the first down. Here we go, fourth down. Newton takes the snap, takes the handoff, throws over the middle. Where was he throwing? Incomplete. Union takes over on downs. Must have been a miscommunication yep. because the receiver was looking one way and the quarterback threw it behind. Yep, he went, the receiver went in, the pass went out. And Tulsa Union will take over on downs. First and 10, Red Hawks are running this clock out the last two minutes and 49 seconds. And let's get out of here with a win. Again, the Union offense did not score an offensive touchdown until the fourth quarter. The two touchdowns they got to wrap this thing up here. Thank you. 
sense of formations like this. It's like they're just going to run it. Delgado just hands off to Schilling, caught in the backfield, and pulled down there at the 19. You'll lose a couple on the play. Number 13, I don't see him on here. Two and a half, clock running. Loss on the play of three, be second and 13. For Tulsa Union at their own 19 yard line. He's letting that clock run. Delgado, again chilling, left side, breaks the tackle, 25, 30, 35, spins across the 37, first down, Tulsa Union. Nice run by Schilling, great blocking up front there. Jones, Alvarez, Henry, Limke. And it's Ronnell Slaughter on the play, number 11. Got one more first down, I think they can just run this clock out. I don't think that Santa Fe's in any hurry to stop it. <laughs> Baldridge comes to the right side, receiver to the left side. No passing in mind here, though. Schilling, 40, 45, 50, there he goes. 40, 35, and finally pull him down to the 33-yard line. Another big run for Jordan Schilling. That'll put him over 100 yards for and the again, fourth time this season. 29 yards on that run. And again, number 11, Ronnell Slaughter. First so touchdown with that. First down Union at the... Santa Fe 32 yard line. Schilling now is 123 yards on 26 carries. His longest 30 yard run, averaging 4.7 average on the night. Tulsa Union now in the best formation in football. The victory formation. Delgado under the center, takes a knee, let the clock run, make one more snap, maybe that should about do it here. Hard fought game for the first two quarters, especially 10 10 at the half. Tulsa Union had uh, been held without an offensive touchdown. Special teams led the way in the first half, then two offensive touchdowns in the fourth quarter, put this one away. Union 31, Edmond Santa Fe 10. And Coach, I know coaches love to talk about a complete team victory, and this yeah. truly was. Oh, absolutely. Special teams, defense, offense, everybody. It was a great job. And the clock cutting down. The team's going to meet in the middle of the field and shake hands. And uh, we'll head back to Tulsa and then come right, turn around and come back here next week for a Friday night game at Edmond Memorial High School. And then Edmond North will come over to Tulsa to close out the regular season. And the game will be senior night for uh, Tulsa Union. So this, again, is the first loss for Edmond Santa Fe in district play. They've been 4-0. They're the same team that, of course, came with a 5-1 record, the team that beat Jinx to open the season here. And what a great turnaround this team had made from a 1-9 record last year. Oh. Our congratulations to Coach Kyle White and his team. They got an outstanding running back, and Demarius Robinson, who tonight had 158 yards on 23 attempts, including a 72-yard touchdown run. And uh, backed by Schilling, though, with 123 yards for the Tulsa Union. Isaac Covington with 62 yards, coming to the big star defensively. Delgado, the freshman, 10 of 18, 133 yards passing with one touchdown throw. Defensively, leading the way, Isaac Covington, 12 tackles, and all of the coach were solo tackles. Oh, that's, that's unbelievable. I didn't realize they were all solo tackles. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. It was tough for the first half, but finally, the Union got it going. Tulsa Union pulls away and wins this one here. 31 to 10 of Edmund Santa Fe to all but clinch another District 2 6A1 championship title for the Red Hawks. Back here again next week on a Friday night. Take on Evan Memorial. Hope you'll join us again next week on the Red Hawks Football Network. This is the Union Sports Network. This is Chris Lincoln along with Tom Stockton, Jeff Johns, Rick Johns, and of course Andy Irvin here. Irvin, we want to thank you very much for joining us. Union wins it and wins the district. It looks like way to go. Way to go, Red Hawks. Done. <laughs>